200 light years away in the constellation Virgo lies the star WASP 107. WASP is short for Wide Angle Search for Planets, an international program aimed at finding exoplanets by the transit method, which involves looking for tiny periodic dimmings of light from a star as a planet passes in front of it. WASP-107 itself is a pretty average star, somewhat cooler, smaller and dimmer than the Sun, but around it have been found two planets, one of which is very remarkable indeed. Discovered in 2017, WASP-107b is almost as big as Jupiter, but has only about a fifth of Jupiter's mass, similar to that of Neptune, which means that its density is extremely low. It also has a very unusual orbit around its host star, highly inclined and stretched out, retrograde, in other words, it moves around its orbit in the opposite direction to which it spins, and very small. WASP-107b's average distance from its star is eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun, and its year, the time it takes to complete one orbit, is only 5.7 days. One thing's for sure, WASP-107b didn't start out in its present orbit. It must have formed further away and then been redirected inward probably by interaction with the second known planet in the system, WASP-107c, which is more massive and moves in a wider orbit. A result of being so close to its star is that WASP-107b's atmosphere is incredibly fluffy. It's so fluffy that it's been nicknamed the Cotton Candy or Candy Floss Planet. Having such a huge, thick, extended atmosphere makes it an ideal target for atmospheric analysis. It means that telescopes can get relatively strong signals from the gases and other components in the atmosphere as starlight filters through. Because different elements absorb different wavelengths of light, the spectrum of starlight indicates which gases are present. Helium was discovered in 107b's atmosphere in 2018, marking the first time this gas had been found on an exoplanet. Extreme ultraviolet radiation from the host star is gradually whittling down the planet's atmosphere, forming a comet-like tail that stretches out into space. Now, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has got in on the act, a major goal of the Webb Space Telescope is to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets and search for biosignature gases that could indicate the presence of life. WASP-107b isn't a promising candidate for life, given its lack of a solid surface and temperatures in the lower levels of its atmosphere close to 1000 Celsius, but the level of detail being observed from targets like WASP-107b is seen as an encouraging sign. The latest observations from Webb have revealed evidence of water vapor and sulfur dioxide, which would give the atmosphere a smell of burnt matches. They've also turned up a major surprise. On WASP-107b, it rains sand. This is a strange and exotic world, with scorching temperatures, raging winds, an atmosphere that smells of burnt matches, and clouds of silicate sand. The planet's atmosphere would feature something akin to Earth's water cycle, but instead with sand cycling between solid and gaseous states. From the hotter lower levels of the atmosphere, silicate vapor would rise, cool and form microscopic grains of sand. The sand clouds would be like a hazy dust, with sand particles streaming around at extremely high speed, a few kilometers per second. Eventually, the clouds of sand dust would become dense enough that they'd begin to rain back down to the lower layers of the atmosphere. Below a certain level, the sand would sublime back into vapor, completing the cycle. We're just beginning to realize what an extraordinary range of planets are out there. So much more diverse in nature than anything we could have imagined from the small collection within the solar system. What other surprises lie in store? What other alien environments will we encounter in the years ahead, as our telescopes and methods of detection become ever more powerful? Stay tuned.